What are you doing there, babe? <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Come on! What does that go with your morning cuppers, does it? It must do, yeah. <laughs> this little thing gets you know. Now we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life away. Okay, we're so we're still travelling on down the Lincoln Highway, going towards Port Lincoln. The scenery has changed a fair bit now, hasn't it? A lot of rolling hills and pastures now. Well, not rolling hills, but rolling pastures. A lot more farm crop and land now. Instead of that shrubby ship we had back up the road, wasn't it, Bob? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Hey okay, guys, we're going to Tumby Bay. We're um. I don't know, 50, 60 k from Port Lincoln now, I think, or something. I'm not sure what it was. But we'll go in and have a little look, see what this town's got in here. We think this one's a little bit bigger, don't we, babe? Yeah, it's they've got, in silo art, street art. So. Yeah, you've got a sip and save and the cops, uh, cop shop down here too. Like, we want to know where that is. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so we can just coast past, just oh, sneak yeah. past, babe. Put it in neutral and roll it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you fucking cunt. Something bit me. Ooh. A uh, little fly thing that landed on me, bit me through me fucking trousers. I fucking Did it really? Yeah, it might have been a bee or something. On your leg? Yeah. Cunt. You want to pull over? Nah, nah, nah. I got him off me. Uh. He was on me trousers. Ow. Bastard. I reckon it was a bee or something. That's the thing, they get on you when you slow down, you've got to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Little it bastard. Kills it kills them when you go fast. I'm just glad it didn't happen to the drama queen back there. <laughs> she would have been pulled over, stripped the trousers off and threw them on the ground and started jumping on them. <laughs> yeah, I would have. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I've done. Yeah, she's done, well not the trousers, she's done that with her jacket before. <laughs> yeah. uh, goes into a mad panic. Yes. So it looks like we're coming up to the main street here, doesn't it? Yep. Right, what, what goes on here? There's nothing fucking here, no. Fucking South Australia's very really poorly signed with, um, yeah. very poorly signed with um, giveaway Give signs ways. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Found a police station. Whereabouts? Oh, yes. All right. Yep. Yeah. And they've got a big jetty as well, babe. Yeah. Nice big pub overlooking the sea. That's what we love. Not a bad looking area, is it, guys? Tumby Bay is located 601 kilometres west of Adelaide via Port Augusta. Tumby Bay is a beautiful coastal township with 1,200 residents, pristine beaches, pine tree lined foreshore, and historic buildings against the backdrop of a rolling farmland in the Copio Hills present a picturesque setting for this charming town. Where the ocean meets the shoreline, you'll find a relaxed yet well-appointed town and district with all amenities and adventure that form pleasurable living. Right, so we're just leaving Tumba. Tumby, isn't it? Tumby Bay. Tumby Bay, is it? Yep. We just had a drive through there to have a bit of a look. There's a nice solo art just here. Can't really see it through the trees. We should have went in the thing there. Yeah. In the uh, viewing area. Yeah, um, some ever original children falling on across the land or something, isn't it? Yeah. It Must mean something. Oh, well, if, I'm sure if you go on Google and put in Tumby Bay silo up. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're not far out of Port Lincoln now. Port Lincoln is the only city on the Air Peninsula 
located on Boston Bay, a bay which is more than three and a half times the size of Sydney Harbour and thus the largest natural harbour in Australia. Nestled on the easterly side of the Air Peninsula, Port Lincoln has grown because it has been the most important grain and fishing port on the peninsula. It is considered by many to be idyllic, with an annual rainfall of 488 millimetres and a near perfect Mediterranean climate of cool winters and warm dry summers. We can see the water again, can't we, sweetie? Yep. Looks beautiful back there, I wonder what we just come through. I never filmed it for you though, guys. But, I didn't realise it was so close. Yeah, but you will see it again in a minute, I guess. It is a little bit overcast at the moment. Uh, this time of the day, there was about 40 or 50% chance of a shower. Right on the edge here. That water, beautiful. All we've got to do now is hope we can find some accommodation, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it would help us. Yeah. <laughs> it is truly a superb drive into, um, or ride into um, Port Lincoln with the water there. Nice. Yeah. Imagine it on a nice sunny day, babe. Yeah. That water will be gleaming. We could probably only imagine it on a sunny day. Oh yeah. Well, at least it's not raining though, is it? That's a good thing. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. Nice big houses here with big views. Look at that. They probably own yeah. tuna boats, babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they probably own a fleet of tuna boats, I reckon. Beautiful houses. Yeah, yeah. overlook the bay here. Money in tuna, you reckon? Hell yeah. So we're along the Esplanade at the moment. We're looking for a motel or something, aren't we, sweetie? Yeah. Thirsty camel there. Right, there's a thirsty camel there, babe. Look for a motel. <laughs> So it looks like we're staying at the Hilton Motel tonight. That's pretty posh. Oh, Rusty's in there getting our room ready. Come out here in a minute and you'll say, nah, they got no rooms. But they actually look like they're showing him something on a map. This one will be cool because it's about 600 metres from town. Now, the ones that I've been just looking at, this one's the closest. Who's here? is our complex for the night. Yeah, no, it's a big one, isn't it? It's called the Hilton, isn't it, babe? We've got to do some washing tonight. Oh, Kim, she's starting to stink a little bit. Yeah. Bit on the nose, she is. She's been wearing the same fucking knick knickers now for a fucking week, I think. We are actually here for two nights, aren't we, babe? Yeah, she's listening, isn't she? We're here for two nights. And um, we're going to go around and explore a bit of Port Lincoln tomorrow. And we're going over to Coffin Bay because I think they've got a coffin over there for Kim. Yeah, you Haven't they, eh? Yeah. So, so the story goes anyway. So we're going to go over to Coffin Bay to have a look. They reckon it's a beautiful little place. So we'll go over there, was... have a spin, then we'll come back here. We're going to have to do some washing. Like, like I just told you. Kim, Kim's knickers are smelling a little weird. She hasn't washed them for a while. But a bit fishy. Oh, that could be Port Lincoln. It's Port Lincoln. <laughs> you sure? It's not me. You sure it's not you? No, 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 it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how oh, Rusty's a bit cast up today. <laughs> Rusty's travelling down here in the 10Ks and suddenly hit me leg. Outside of my jeans, not inside. And then fucking bit me. So yeah, old Rusty gets that off his leg. I think it was one of them big barley mark fly things, or horse flies they call them yeah. over here, don't they? Yeah. So that bit me, so I'm rubbing me leg length for the next half hour. And then fuck me, then. I open up my visor for about 10, 15 seconds to get a bit of air in. And I see something fly in my <laughs> visor. I thought, oh, fucking hell, that was lucky. It flew in my visor and I thought it'd come out. Well, no, no, no. 15 seconds later, old Rusty got bit on the Kim right here, and now that's all swollen. And no, it's not from Kim, because I never give Kim a hard time for her to give me one. No. Do I, babe? No. No, I never should, sir. I don't do anything. But um, we, we had a bloody late night last night, as far as late nights go on the road. Not so much for Rusty, but for poor old Kimmy. We didn't. We we went out with. We told you in the last video. We met some friends and we went out to tea with them. We went back to the caravans 
Because we're at a cabin there. If you watch the video, you'd already know this. And uh, we sat in the camp kitchen until bloody 10, 10, 30, didn't we? Now, Kim, I normally put her to bed with a bottle. <laughs> At about 7 30 or 8. Yep. And all I know, I'm going to get a good two or three hours piece him just watching telly and just chilling. Yep. Not last night, man. No, she was alive. Her yep. mouth was fucking going, I can tell you. But we had a great time, didn't we, babe? That was a with, lot. with Roger and who was it? Yep. Roger and Bev, wasn't it, eh? Yeah, you can do one. What are you doing there, babe? <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Why are you putting your babies on water? Yeah. You said it was too cold. Don't worry. No, no, I'm not going away. Hey guys, it's come to that time of the month. Hands in a pug. Yep. And not the crabby time with her, I don't mean. Not that's, that time. That's constant. That, that is very true. But it's washing day on the road, isn't it, babe? It We've is. been on the road nearly for two weeks now. Two weeks tomorrow, babe. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. So, come on, Kimmy, put her in. It's washing day. Kimmy was getting a bit smelly. Like I said in one of the last videos, she's a bit fishy smelling, so I don't um, know if it was a Port Lincoln or, or it's her. It's the seafood frontier down here, oh, mate. Show them. What? Our nice clean T-shirt. Well, it's not clean, that's No, dirty. but when it will be yeah, clean. Yeah, well, it will. It, provide, Nobody wants provide to. Provided an old Rusty's logos don't come off that email. <laughs> you right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Good that she'll carry everything, you know. It's bloody <laughs> marvellous. You know, when we're on the road, she's like a little lackey sometimes. It's only because you got the camera in your face. Yeah. Okay then. So we're off. The laundry's over. What are you doing? You don't have to do it up. <laughs> well, I'm going to lose everything the way no, I'm you going. Won't. No, you won't. Okay, our laundry's up in here somewhere. We'll go up there and we'll do a bit of washing, eh? Kim should know how to do this fairly well. I'm not doing it. Guest laundry. I don't know how to work that the washing machine. That gets laundry, see? Well, it looks like there's no one in here, babe. No, we're There's not. our washing machine. We'll turn the light on. There's our washing machine. Hey, may, may tag. Uh-oh. Someone's left a sock. Look. Oh, no. Look. Probably going to the other sock that's Could have been lying. a frilly set of bundles. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going in together when we're on the road, including the wipes. Yeah, the we don't worry about that. No, we don't care about that. No while we're on holidays. Oh look, she's fucking done it up now, she can't undo it for crying. It's simple clips. Alright. Just it's... squeeze them. I am, it's not working. You better do it. Oh my god. Because you put them in the wrong way. Right. We'll just put everything in, but. Yeah. Okay. See how he just takes over because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Makes it look like she doesn't know what she's doing, I can tell you guys. It's a common ploy by most women. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Oh. Are they all $1 coins, right? Yes. I'll push that in. Then we push start. Oh, we got action. If only our bikes would wash that easy. I know. <gasps> As you know, when you ride a motorbike, especially when you're on the road for a month at a time, you've got to do some washing, don't you, sweetie? Right here, we're going across and we're going to have a look to see if our washing is ready yet, okay? So we'll go and see. Okay, it looks like we're done. Yes, we're done. Okay, so. Yeah, no, she, she couldn't be bothered coming across the fucking Albany, could she, eh? Yeah. Couldn't be bothered. Then more than Rusty will do it. It's done. Pops the coins in, so normal, delicate, heavy duty, high heat. That's what we want. So it's five dollars there too. One. We're away. Let's hope it dries everything. Okay then guys, we'll go back. We'll give that another half hour. Kimmy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Kimmy? I'm just having a look at the place. What are you doing? Be a lady of leisure and pleasure while I'm doing all the washing and the drying and oh, everything. Oh yeah, I've been having pleasure while you've been gone. Where is it? Where's your toy? What, 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 what's in the bag? It's called silence. Silence. Oh, <laughs> you're fucking funny, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're in the dryer now. They've finished. Right. Okay. okay. So. Oh, I left your stuff out. Just put my stuff in, though. Oh, that wouldn't surprise me. No, nah, of course not. What are you looking in the bag for? Seeing what's in the bag. <laughs> 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 She's always looking for something in the bag. Right, we're going over to check out washing. As soon as we do this, we can go out and start exploring again, can't we, babe? Babe. Apparently. Babe, babe. It still smells damp. 
doesn't it? I don't know. I have no idea what a so washing a machine smells like. Have a look, I've got to go back. Can okay. Oh, you poor little thing. What were you doing? On the bed, researching. <laughs> okay, guys, we promised you this, didn't we, babe? We'll take you for a walk down the street and we'll show you a pork linking. It's the Esplanade, which is virtually the main street, isn't it, babe? Yep. That's where Henry took us. That's where he... didn't shut up till he got there. And Henry, as you know, is a GPS. He seems to like the post office for some reason. Yes, he does. Can you undo that childproof gate, uh -huh. please? OK, so this is outside our back door. We've got a heap of wheat silos, grain silos there. Obviously, the big ships come in there, don't they, babe? We haven't seen any yet. No, we haven't seen any ships yet. That looks yet. like a tuna one. Nah, some sort. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's got a, sh a, um, a crow's nest on it. Yeah. Yeah, up top, the pair of them. So it probably is. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful, isn't it, guys? Look at it. Look at our views here, will you? I tell you, it's magnificent, isn't it, babe? It's even better it is. here. Where, babe? Oh, yeah, that T-shirt's pretty bloody smick. Kimmy Ross Adventures, isn't it? OK, so this is the surf club down here. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Yacht club. Yacht club. <laughs> you better get it right. I've got it right, yeah. sweetie. I've got it right. I've got you. <laughs> got it right 21 years ago, finally. Oh, gosh. Took me a while, but anyway. Say it's slower so it doesn't seem so long. <laughs> uh, 21 years. <laughs> But this is a nice little walk around here. Look at it. Really is. We might even take you out on that pier and see if anyone is catching anything, mightn't we? It's nice down here in the bay. Yeah. It's very nice indeed. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for that wind, it'd be fairly warm today, wouldn't it? As you can see, Kim's just took a top off. Yep, just stripped off. Slide down there on your bum, babe. No. Run down there. I'll wreck my trousers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Vic, all then rust, you'd have to buy more. I was only allowed to buy, bring two pounds with me. We're going to go out on that wharf and have That's, a walk? You told him you would. OK. All right, we're going to tackle this wharf, aren't we, sweetie? Mm-hmm. It's not as bad as the other day, is it, sweetie? At, at Port Germain, or Port German? Port no, Germain, they reckon. No, it's Germain, they said. Yeah, we've got... We have already been corrected, it's Port Germain. Yep. In it. And that's the Australia's longest wooden... Bridge. Ah, uh, pier. Jetty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever you want to call it. Can't see no fish, babe. No. No. No whiting. No, nah, can't see no whiting. We've got to put the motorbikes out here. Look, mm -hmm. they've got their bikes, babe. That's because apparently push bikes don't leave a footprint. Neither does our motorbikes, do they, babe? You should smell the shit that comes out of your exhaust. <laughs> That's leaving a footprint. That's not very nice, is it, guys? You'll leave one on my ass if I keep going, Yeah, my word, I will. OK. That's just a nice little spot. You can go swimming here. <laughs> yeah, that's like a swimming pool, that, yeah. mate. It is. It's a swimming enclosure. Is there... Can yeah. things get in there or not? No, it's probably all netted off, babe. Oh, cool. See so what the sign says. Swimming enclosure. Oh, I just do. do. That'd yep. be really cool. Now, Kim was just... just annoying that fisherman down there. I asked now, him one question. Yeah. Now, a man goes fishing for peace, tranquility, silence. It's gold. And she fucking rocks up. Well, what do you reckon that bloke lost? I didn't get much out of him. He lost his peace, his <laughs> tranquility, <laughs> his golden moment. I said, are you catching anything? He said, what, fish? And I said, he said, no. I said, oh. Looks like you're catching seaweed, and he goes, I am at the moment. Yep, see? Yep, that was he it. He lost it. I reckon he'll pack up and go <laughs> home now. I reckon he'll think, I'm better off at home with the wife. Yeah, probably. Yep. Hey, I don't know how much. What, babe? It's his own loss. He could have got a chance to talk. Look, there's someone else talking to him now. Yeah, he's that's been... probably his wife. Oh, he's been talking to him. She's probably down there saying, What the fuck the hell were you doing talking to that blonde yeah, just there? Yeah, it's true. That's why he didn't want to talk. Getting him into trouble all Yeah, all he's around. seen. That's why he didn't want to talk. He seen, he seen his wife come and he put his head down yep. and thought, I'd better not talk to you. Well, he lost the opportunity to interact with Kimmy Russ Adventures, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, that's it. Port Lincoln, nice place. It is. Yes. OK, so that is virtually the Esplanade in Port Lincoln and we live just down there on the left, don't we, babe? Fit right down near them white silos. Yeah. See them white silos? We live just before them. 
So this here is the street, as I've said before. Well, time for drink, enough walking. The Grand Tasman Hotel in Port Lincoln we chose. Well, we just sat here for a few hours and watched the day go by in such beautiful surroundings and then the sun going down. So we're just leaving Port Lincoln on a day day trip and we're going out to Coffin Bay to have a bit of a look aren't we babe? We are. And let's hope we're going straight ahead and not to the left because over to the left there's some dark clouds in there babe. Yep. So if we're going, to, if we're going straight ahead we'll be right won't we? Okay so things are starting to get a little bit prettier. We're not very out of Coffin Bay now, are we? Hey. We got all this bush, shrubbery, small shrubbery stuff on this side, on the left here, but over here we've got an inlet of some kind. Yes, I know, guys, we've got a couple of grey clouds up above us, but we're not real worried about them, are we, babe? We only copped a little bit, not much. Yeah, a couple of spits you can see on the windscreen there. Um, not even enough to have the phones with the electricals off the bike, but uh, waterproof. It is only going to be about 14 degrees here today though, I think, so it's going to be cool. A little bit cool on the legs at the moment, don't you reckon? A little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, but she's like that. She's like that. Must be like you then, because you said a little bit. Always thought she was a hot chick, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this. We're not far from um, town now, are we? How many people did you say lived here, babe? Well, I think it was about 650. Uh, you're not lying now, are you? I could be, but... There's an island out there, sweetie. Better make sure there's no... What's the name on that lens? Raindrops. Raindrops keep falling on my lens. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so this island was named after Isaac Coffin, Admiral Isaac Coffin. Oh, Christ, here we go, guys. <laughs> make sure you Google it. Yeah. It, could, it could be, look at the albatross on the boat here. It could be fake, guys. It could be fake. Google it. Uh, he was Matthew Flinders that dis well, he discovered it, but he didn't get off because then people on the beaches wasn't really good to stop off at the island, so he named it from afar. Oh, from afar. <laughs> yeah. it got a bit of got a bit of rain this end, Tweety. I know. Let's go back the other way. <laughs> It's a very pretty little spot, isn't it? There's the wharf yep. down there. It's a town jetty, that one. Town jetty, okay, sorry, sorry. Yep. Car's waiting for us to stop somewhere, I bet you, because he's going to come and say hello, he's a fan. <laughs> yeah, we've had a car following us now for about 45 k's. If he gets yep. a gun out, babe, look out, get your guns out. <laughs> okay? I'll get the guns, I'll get the girls out. You, you'll get, oh, <laughs> you'll scare him, sweetie. I oh, know, that's the whole idea. Uh, Okay, so we're coming back around the main part of the street. We just done a big kirkle, didn't we, babe? Get off your yeah. phone. Get off your phone, mate. Well, we're going to get off the bike somewhere and we'll... The boat deck. We'll go down here, will we, or what? Yeah. Or... There's a car park to the left. Yeah. This is the wharf and jetty area, guys. 
Hmm. I'll go on the other side. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, babe. Just make sure she's in first when you hop off it. Yeah, could be an idea. Okay, so we're down in Coffin Bay. Aren't we, my darling? We might get off and just go for a little bit of a walk here, maybe. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever